Hello everyone. Good news and bad news. Good news is you have my full attention tonight. Bad news is it's still just me. So. <laughs> uh, I had one of those things where today was a good day. Let me start by saying that. Today was fine. Um, mostly doing nothing, but I did get some things accomplished. You know, I did at least accomplish. I got on the floor and uh, did more cutting on Coco's hair. And I did it in the den where the floor is actually soft. And it didn't really hurt my back today, so that was great. Um, spent most of the day playing Breath of Fire 3. Making solid progress, probably not as solid as I have in the last few, and I'm going to blame that squarely on the difference in party wiping, because the difficulty has not really gone down any, but in the past games, you know, you hit a wall, um, you didn't lose your experience, and, you know, you just got to grind a little more on the way back in. Uh, Final Fantasy VI did the same thing, and it was great. This one, you hit a wall, and you just lost an hour, you know? And yeah, you can get through it again quicker, but it's almost detrimental, because then you're going to have less fights, and be even less prepared for the fight, but you just lost. And I just... I'm in this pl I'm in this area that I I've wiped four times in now. Uh, once on a trash mob on the way in, twice to the fi to what I'm assuming is the final boss of it, and the last time again to a trash mob. And I just, after fighting with this place for like nearly three hours, I was just done. It's not even midnight. I was just so done. And then there's political stuff that I don't even want to talk about. Just because... Fuck all of that at this point. It just pisses me off more than anything. And it does have to do with... The... Recent shooting in my home state. Up in Atlanta. Of just, you know... Honestly, the natural conclusion of the former occupant of the White House uh, calling coronavirus racist names. Um, man, it, it, it'd be great if he just dropped dead tonight and we never had to hear another fucking word out of his mouth. Wouldn't that just be fantastic? The other thing that happened today, and this one's actually uplifting, is that, like, apparently, like, either yesterday or this morning or something like that, uh, current President Biden, who, a man who actually deserves the moniker, um, tripped going upstairs into his plane, like, like, almost twice, um, and it, it, you know, it just, it just struck me that I'm not going to have to listen to him desperately explaining why it wasn't a big deal that he tripped on the way up those stairs for the next two months, you know, Un unlike with the previous president who a lot like Stephen Colbert, I'm no longer going to give the respect of being referred to by name because frankly, he doesn't deserve it. Um, But yeah, unlike unlike any time the, the previous president did something stupid and it only didn't go away because he wouldn't shut up about it didn't happen or making excuses or complaining about the media talking about it when the only reason they're still talking about it is because you're still talking about it, you stupid fucking moron. Man, tonight's really vitriolic, isn't it? But yeah, it's like it's just, every time something little like this happens, 
you hear about it and there's just some comfort in knowing you'll never hear about it again. I'll have probably forgotten about it by Monday and so will most of the world because Biden's not going to be going on about how he meant to trip up the stairs or he was teaching the stairs a lesson or the stairs sabotaged him because they were the opposing uh, the opposing political party. <laughs> or the stairs were China. Not going to have to hear any of that. It's just going to be, you know, and if he is ever confronted with the question, he'll probably just be like, yep, tripped up some stairs. It happens. I'm 70. <laughs> like, um, he's just, it happens. And honestly, if we do hear any talk about it from the, this point forward, it'll just be genuine concern because he did break his foot in like November, I think. Like, not like late into last year, he broke his foot. So just be like, is he good? <laughs> He is awesome. Instead of, you know, there there won't there will not be a rally. If it were the previous president, he would already be planning a rally, um, so that he could tell his thousands of supporters that would go to it and probably soon be dead from coronavirus. Um, all about how that liberal media needs to stop talking about how he tripped up the stairs. And then he'd complain about low flow toilets and waitresses and just a myriad of things that not only should a grown ass man not be summoning a mob to speak about, but much less a grown ass man that's supposed to be the one of the most powerful people in the country. But anyway, I just exhausted myself for all that. I'm just, I think I'm like, I've been getting a cold since October. <laughs> like I've been in some stage of catching a cold for the better part of the last six months. And I think it really is catching up with me now. Now that, uh, pollen seasons kicked in just you know I, I'm just waiting for the moment that I wake up and feel like garbage because then I can go back to feeling like a normal person there's a bug hello little bug redeemer close your eyes goodbye little bug wow you are tiny I can't even He's like a grain of rice. You know what? Fuck it. Just get out of my bed. You deserve to live. Just get out of my bed. Go away. I don't know where it is now. Whatever. It little flying thing they get in every now and then. Not even big enough to worry about. I just didn't want him in the bed anymore. Or her. I don't know their gender. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep now. So, uh, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Where I will hopefully be less angry and not still in the same damn temple. In Breath of Fire.